Bonsoir, how is it going? Another week of We Love Betting. Reasonable start last week, Marco here. Uh, one out of three of your football league tips, but of course you're in Berlin. Give us a sum, <laughs> sum it up in one word your stag do in Berlin. Can't really remember any of it. <laughs> you got punched, didn't you? I think, yeah. yeah. Cheers for that, Chris. <laughs> punched, pillaged, and humiliated. I did behave myself as well. You, well, the girlfriend we watched, and so you have to say that. <laughs> anyway, 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 a new week dawns, week two of the football league season. Um, and your first bet is uh, first team. Well, two teams who got off the winning start last week in the championship, but you're taking one of them to make it six points out of the six on Saturday. Watford against Bournemouth, who are you tipping it win here? Oh, it's got to be Watford, 8 to 11 quotes. Um, I continually oppose them outright and more or less week to week as well. Um, I always find reasons to oppose them, but I've got to get with them this week at those sort of quotes. Playing at Vicarage Road. Uh, no real signs of a playoff hangover last week, beating Birmingham 1 0 away from home. Uh, read most of the reports, saw the highlights. By all means, they, they controlled that game for very long periods of time. I think it was around 60% possession, which is always impressive in a championship oh. game. Didn't really even have to get out of second gear in their League Cup game against Bristol Rovers. Uh, Rovers who were injury hit, 3 1 winners there. Um, their squad's just full of options, full of talent as well. So when they're when they're in the mood, they're very hard to stop. And you look at last season; they won six and drew two at home uh, against the bottom eight, scoring 19, keeping four clean sheets. That's very impressive, and, and more impressive than I actually thought it was. I thought, well, if we were a little bit dodgy at mm. home sometimes, it shows they can be ruthless against those sort of bottom eight teams. And I can see Bournemouth finishing around the 14th to 16th mark. Mm. Um, Higher for me. Okay, um, I think they'll find t things a little bit tougher than people perhaps uh, expect. I think they need a little bit more investment. Um, and of course, Watford of last year's top scorers have scored 85, 41 at home. Um, as I said, I was a big fan of Bournemouth last oh, year. Oh yeah, I, I'm dead here. Yes, yes, I think you were as well. Eh? Oh yeah, it's a poster <laughs> on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Little Eddie. Um, but their away record against the top half and their record against the top ten wasn't always that impressive. Away to the top half, won three, drew three, lost five. Um, and they won six, drew four, lost nine in their 19 games against the top ten. Um, so you could probably call them a little bit of flat track bullies. I like that. Perhaps yeah. a little bit of vulnerable as well on the road. Um, and they only scored one more than they conceded away. When you consider they finished second in the table, I thought that's quite interesting. Eight to 11 Watford. That's a good show. Man. Some good stats there from Mark as he goes for Watford to be Bournemouth. Uh, game two, he's gone for a BTTS. Bet. Both teams to score, but glamour time. Yeah, League One. Uh, oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Imagine a weekend, Saturday night in o uh, Friday night in Oldham, Saturday night in Walsall. You would get punched if that was the case. But both teams to score in this fixture. Yes, yes. Uh, you just need to look at their opening weekends. Uh, Oldham beat Stevenage four three away from away from home. Walsall sort of Tramway three one. Both teams scored in both games. Uh, both teams got off to winning starts. Ten goals in those two games. Um, I think you need to take a little look at uh, take stock at Oldham really with Lee Johnson in charge. Uh, he's, he's basically gone out this summer and bought just attacking players, ignored the defence, and Voto's gone to Barnsley just buy loads of attackers and hope for the best. And it seemed to work against Stevenage. Um, and I think that's going to be an excellent pointer for us. I think they're going to score plenty of goals, concede plenty too, and be quite entertaining. So at 10 to 11, I think this game's been priced up on, yeah. on last year, really, where Oldham are quite a dour and dull team to, to watch and follow. Um, even in their final few weeks under, under Lee Johnson, they were low in the goals column. Only three of their final 14 saw three goals or more, uh, and only five of those 14 saw both teams net. But um, there's also reasons to suggest there's, there's, there's going to be goals here. Oldham did average at least a goal a game and concede at least a goal against in, in their home games. Scored in 16 of their 23 Leaked in 18 of the 23 at home. Uh, mentioned that, those summer signings. Uh, if you actually get to see Christian Montano scored an absolutely yeah. stunning goal for Oldham last week. Um, then you look at Walsall. Well, they conceded they lost over 40 goals worth of talent in the summer, but early signs are Craig Westcar is going to fill that void. Two goals last week and proved a handful in, in midweek as well against Port Vale in the Cup. Like Oldham, they're going to be rebuilding this, this summer um, or this, this season. Um, beat Vale as well, conceded as, as well, so both of their games have seen both teams score. Um, they scored in 15 of their 23 away, leaked in 17 of their 23 away last season. So, um, And also, if you like a head-to-head -head stat, Oldham have scored in the last seven fixtures against Walsall. Throw it all in the mix and 10 to 11, a shade under even money for, for both teams to score, but it's always value in my eyes.
It's a good show. It's a good price as well, 10 to 11. Can't argue with that, Mark. It's all third and final pick. League 2. Now, five years ago, if you had told a Portsmouth fan in 2008, where would you be playing in 2013? 2008, of course, he played in the UEFA Cup, played against Milan, Wolfsburg, glamour ties for the South Coast Club. Where will you be in five years' time? <laughs> Champions League, uh, you know, playing, playing the World Club Cup. Well, <laughs> away to Accrington Stanley, actually. It's a pitiful tale. Uh, take it away, Mark. <laughs> yeah, Accrington League 2 relegation favourites. Poor Pompey, hot pre-season favourites. Uh, neither side got off to a great start no. this week. <laughs> Pompey James, got humped. They did, 4-1. Um, and James Beatty's Accrington also got off to a hammering by Newport County. But then produced a stunning result to beat Middlesbrough in the, in the Capital mm. One Cup midweek, so fair play to them. Fear for Tony Mowbray. No, I fear for Tony leave Mowbray. him alone. I'm They've really clinging on to that two, hope of Middlesbrough. 2013 <laughs> G where's my... Oh. Anyway, carry on, sorry. Um, but James Beatty's come out of the outside of the game against Middlesbrough and he's basically said that the fans and the team are going to be in for an entertaining season. So I expect plenty of over two and a half games. Uh, the stats suggested two, eight goals in their first two matches. The last five league matches have seen a total of 20 goals, an average of four a game. Um, look at Pompey. I think before last weekend, a lot of people would have jumped on the 13 to 8 on Pompey to win at Accrington. Mm. Not so much anymore. Um, a lot was expected of Guy Whittingham, especially this season, rebuilding his squad, bringing them plenty of new faces. Uh, they look a little bit short of that sort of title winning unit right now. It might take a few weeks. Um, interestingly enough, though, his away games as Pompey manager have produced plenty of goals. Uh, the last 13 away games in League One average well over 2.5 goals a game, and I think that's the bet for me to go here. Over two and a half at five to six. Um, Accrington scored in 10 of their 12 games at home to top half clubs last season, uh, so they've got an appetite to score, especially at home. By no means is a tight ship at the back, as we've seen already. Yeah. The same goes for Pompey, who can still score goals as we saw last year, just can't seem to t keep them out at the moment. So combine the two in five to six over okay. two and a half goals. Mark's not confident enough that Portsmouth can beat. Accrington <laughs> but anyway, anyway, your three best picks from the football league this weekend. Uh, in reverse order, Accrington Pompey over two and a half at five to six in the live Sky Sports game. Oldham Warsaw, both teams to score at ten to eleven, and Watford at eight to eleven to beat Bournemouth. Excellent. That was Mark. Let's hope he doesn't get punched this weekend. <laughs>